Hey everybody, Jason from No Code VA. In this video, we're going to look at how we can use Airtable forms to redirect to another Airtable form and pre-populate that second form. So why is this useful? Well, this is used in many cases, such as if you're adding uh, a company to your company table, but you also want to add a contact to the contact table that's related to that company. So you fill in the form to add the organization, the company, and then you're automatically redirected to the, add the contact with the company pre-filled in the company field. This is also useful for project tasks and things like that as well. So let's have a look at how we can do that. Okay, so we have a database here and we have two tables that we're concerned about. So we have the organization and the contacts table. So the organization table holds information about the organization, the company details, and then the contacts table holds information about specific contacts that are linked to that organization. So this is the way you would structure your database and it's a good practice to do it this way because for instance, you might have one organization but you'll have 10 contacts linked to it. If you was to just put the contact and the organization information into one table and then the organization changed its name or its phone number, you would have to go through all those contacts and change them. This way, we have one record in organizations that we can update and it will be reflected on all the contacts. So this is the best way to structure your database. The downside is that if you get a new client, for instance, then you have to add the organization and then the contact and link them. So what we're going to do here is a nicer workaround where you can just fill in the organization form, redirect to the contact form, and then fill that in with the organization already pre-filled. So to do that, we have two forms. We have one in here, add a company. So this is just where you add the company information. And then we have another one in here, add contact. So what we want to do before we do anything else, if we go to the contact form, the form we want to redirect to, we need to share it and we need to copy the link. And if we go back over to organization, if we scroll down to the bottom of the company form, we can redirect after this form has been completed. So what we want to do is redirect to the contact form. So we don't only want to redirect, we also want to carry the record that we just created through and populate the organization field. So what we're trying to do, if we just go back to contact, we want to redirect to this form, but we want this already filled in with the organization that we just created, okay? So let me show you how we structure this URL. So we have the form here. So this orange piece here, if I can grab hold of that. So this part here is the contact form URL. What we then do, the red part is the pre-fill command. So we're telling Airtable to pre-fill and then we have the blue bit. So we're telling Airtable to pre-fill the organization with the record we just created. We do that by using this record ID here. Okay, so let's just jump back. In fact, let's just copy this. If we jump back into organization and we scroll down to the bottom, we can redirect here and we can redirect like this. And if you see the text here, you can see Airtable gives you the information here of how you how you have the how you use the variable for the record you just created so it's just open brackets record id close brackets okay so if we save that now we should be able to fill in this form and we'll be redirected and the organization will be pre-filled okay we've opened the form we've filled it in with the company information and now we're going to submit so we're going to redirect so unfortunately there's this little delay here that Airtable put in before it redirects, but it's going to redirect now to the contact form. And what we can see has happened is it's pre-filled this organization with the organization we just created. So let's just fill my details in here then. So we can just submit now. This form has been filled in. If we jump back into the bases, we'll see if we scroll down to the bottom, we have automation made simple as we put in the first form. And then if we go to the second form, the contacts table, 
and we look down at the bottom here, we can see it's added me as a contact, but it's also linked to the organization. Okay, that's it. Thank you for listening. Hope that's been useful. A couple of things I'll point out. Airtable now have given access to the field IDs. So rather than using the field name, so organization in our case, use the field ID because it's not impacted by anybody changing the name of the field at a later date. And you can find that in the field manager. You can also find a video on that that I've done recently. So if you just check my YouTube channel and search, you will find a video on how to do that. Also on how to hide fields. So you could pre-fill and hide the organization field so that it can't be changed. And finally, again, if you're interested in what we do and you'd like to find out more, head over to automationmadesimple.co. Thank you for listening. See you next time.